In the gilded halls of traditional finance, private equity has long held its place as the engine of corporate transformation. Acquiring undervalued or underperforming companies, restructuring them, and exiting them at a premium. Yet, even this fortress of finance is not immune to disruption. Cryptocurrency, once dismissed as fringe speculation, is now quietly altering the foundations of how private capital moves, how deals are structured, and how risk is measured. And at the heart of this transformation lies a powerful innovation, perpetual digital credit note tokens, or PDCNs, crafted by FGA partners but designed for mass adoption. For decades, private equity has relied on a mix of equity injections and debt financing, often in the form of bank loans or high-yield bonds, to power leveraged buyouts and portfolio expansions. But in today's climate of rising interest rates, regulatory scrutiny, and tightening credit conditions, access to efficient, flexible capital is more critical than ever. This is where crypto-based capital mechanisms enter the picture. Cryptocurrencies, especially stablecoins like USDC, USDT and USXM, are increasingly being used as liquidity rails, providing faster settlement times, borderless transactions, and reduced intermediary costs. Private equity firms are beginning to see the value of tokenizing portions of their capital stack, not just for portfolio company acquisitions but also for managing internal liquidity, improving capital efficiency, and attracting global investors. The trickle-down effect is perhaps most profound in the private credit space, where firms provide loans to middle market businesses outside of traditional banking systems. Here, perpetual digital credit note tokens are becoming a game-changer. Unlike traditional debt instruments, PDCNs are on-chain, transparent, digital asset and real-world asset stake debt tokens that offer perpetual yield, daily yield distribution and collateralization by digital assets such as Piku coins and other viable digital assets. For a private credit lender, fund, or manager, this is a seismic shift. Instead of holding illiquid debt that ties up capital for years, a lender can issue a PDCN and monetize it on secondary markets within a predetermined time frame, use it as collateral for further transactions, or even package it into structured digital credit baskets for new investors. The borrower gains as well, unlocking debt capital with fewer covenants, more flexibility, and real-time smart contract enforcement. This convergence of TradFi and DeFi is forging a new asset class, programmable private debt that behaves like a hybrid between a bond, a token, and a smart contract. PDCNs sit at the center of this fusion, bridging institutional trust with blockchain efficiency. In the years to come, cryptocurrency won't just be part of the private equity toolkit, it will be one of its most strategic components, enabling firms to move faster, operate leaner, and tap capital in ways that legacy systems simply can't match. As the lines blur between Wall Street and Web3, PDCNs are proving that the next evolution of private capital won't be written in paper contracts, but coded on the blockchain.